Welcome back to my channel. It's Mary. So a while back, I had purchased a book I saw on TikTok called Burn After Writing. And I, I was gonna post it on TikTok, but I never got the chance to. And you know how they say take TikTok made me do it? TikTok made me do it. And before I get into all this and just start rambling on about stuff, welcome back. If you're new, hi, hello. If you're not new, then yeah, welcome. Time to talk about some more things. I've been meaning to just jump on here and talk to y'all guys. So like I said, I purchased this book and I wanna do a series or maybe a few story times about what's in this book, but I'm gonna do a poll and put a vote out there on my Instagram or my Twitter or Facebook, you know, whoever gets the most yeses or noes. If I should read my burn after, burn after writing book. And I got this one at Barnes and Nobles for like $11 and change. It would have been 16, but did y'all know that Barnes and Noble price matches? I did not know that. I just so happened to be looking up the price before I got there and I had just asked him and he's like, yeah, but don't tell anybody. So I got my book for like $11 and change. Sorry about my cold sore. I like, I have really oily, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's a cold sore, but you know, that's what they're called. I get really oily skin and but just like oily skin and the bacteria in my face just builds up a lot. So. I get these a lot. I'm just really trying to avoid it by not showing it a lot. And if I'm looking this way, it's because I'm looking at these people. They keep staring at me, so I'm gonna stare at them back. So yeah, I'm wanting to do that too, but bear with me. I'm not gonna jump into that book right now. It's a really good, good book, by the way. So go check it out. It is called Burn After Writing. They have a few of them, actually. Um. I think about like three of them, three or four. <laughs> um, anyways, so I'm on here to talk about a dream I had recently. It was pretty creepy. I'm gonna jump back in here only cause I'm gonna Google something real quick. And cause I don't know what it means or how, it, how it's possible to have two dreams at once that have nothing to do with the other. Makes sense? Okay, so my first dream um, if y'all have ever seen the movie Silent Hill, you will know exactly in your head what I am describing and what came after me in this dream. And I haven't even seen the movie Silent Hill recently for me to even think like something this scary up in my head, you know what I mean? Um, in this dream, I was in a hospital, I think, because there was a lot of white walls and there was a long white hallway with like those kind of hospital dimmed lights. Like they weren't bright, but they also weren't dark. So it was dimmed. And I'm like walking down this hallway and I hear like a noise behind me. And I think I turned like this and in the corner of my eye, I like turned around even more to like look at what the hell my eye caught. Cause I saw it in the corner of my eye. And it was like one of those creepy ass nurses from Silent Hill. If you know what I'm talking about, you know how scary they are. And they only move with the daylight, with the light on. So like it was, the light was on in the hallway. And she just started coming after me like, like, like walking like this. And she didn't have a weapon in her hand. So that's what scared me the most. Like she was like walking like this with her arms and stuff like that. So that's what creeped me out. I like jolted awake and I scared my husband, I guess, cause I was scared. Oh my God. In my second dream, um, so I have my mom's side of the family is in Dallas. My, my dad's side of the family, some of them is here. Some of them is in Chicago, right? So I had a dream about my mom's side of her family in Dallas. We're all dying of COVID. 
like from my uncles to my tia to my cousins to my little cousins they're they're kids you know their kids not even in middle school yet and I was like what the fuck I was like like I was like why is this happening and I guess I just so happened to see my family and I didn't make the connection until like today because I'm talking about it that in my first dream, I was in a hospital, right? In the second dream, I'm in a hospital. And my family is in a hospital with my mom's side of their family dying from COVID in a hospital bed. In hospital beds. And I was like so creeped out. And my dad walks in and tells one of my uncles, he's like, yeah, I guess you don't like it now. He's like, karma's a bitch, you know, and so this is your karma. Which I didn't understand, like, why my dad was saying that. I was like, that's pretty messed up to say to somebody that's dying of COVID. I was like, they didn't appreciate my mom, their older sister, that well. And they sure didn't appreciate their mom that was alive either. Let me fix that. So, yeah. And he's like, you're a fucking asshole to my dad. And I was like, no, dude, you're the asshole. I was like, if if my gra if your mom was here, my grandma was here, and she saw the way y'all were acting, you know, like, she would not put up with any of this, man. Like, I told him straight up, you're a fucking asshole. You talk so much shit for no reason. Like, my uncles think they're better than my mom. And my mom's the oldest. And it's just so messed up. Like, we have so much drama. My mom's side of the family and my dad's side of the family. Like, I don't even want to get into that. It is not even about that. It, it's about the dream I had. And, like, why we're screaming back and forth and stuff like that. In the dream. I don't know what we're arguing about. But my, my tia goes, shh, he's dying. Let him die in peace. I'm like, who's dying? Who? Where? And that she's telling me and my mom that she doesn't want to, she does, she wants to sign a DNR form. And a DNR form is do not resuscitate. They do not want to be brought back if they die, you know, or die. Um, they, they just said, let them be, you know, she does not want to be on a ventilator and shit like that. So I'm like freaking out, like what the fuck? And then, like, my tia tells me that in the dream that if anything happens to me, if I die, she's like, I'm giving you my kids. Like, I want you to take care of these kids. My my kids' lives are in your hand, hands. And she's talking to me. And I'm just like, but why? I, like, don't even live here. I live in San Antonio. You're in Dallas. I didn't even understand how I was in Dallas. I just got an email right now from the apartments from some apartments and I had put a deposit down and I don't think it's good news guys so wish me luck this pretty much concludes my um my story time for today the dream I had about like three nights ago freaking scared the crap out of me and yeah I like totally put my business out there right now yeah I'm trying to move out to an apartment and we're struggling and it's really frustrating that like when you have no renter rental history and your credit isn't all that that you're basically like walking on the thin line you know so yeah wish me luck guys i need all the blessings i can get pray for me pray for my family i really need get back on here and update y'all about the apartments and my dreams. I write all my dreams down in a journal that I have at home. Not, I don't have it with me, but if y'all want to hear more, let me know. If y'all want to hear 
me read my burn after writing book when it's completed I will do that too but it will take a lot out of me I will possibly cry maybe reading this book because that holds everything that is literally deep down inside of me and it took a lot for me to write it in there like it made me sad and depressed and like anxious just writing my personal thoughts and seeing them on paper you know like once something is written down you can't take it back that's basically what the book is about like how honest you can be with yourself and that's all I'm gonna put out there about that book because I know this video was not about that but like I said don't forget to like and subscribe please don't push the dislike button like it just because maybe I don't know but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.